Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this short video, we'll be studying losses and power flow diagram of an induction motor. And this is Article 7.4 from Mr. Chapman's book. Okay, to uh, proceed further, we got to understand the basic uh, construction of the induction motor. And we relate the power losses with this. So first of all, this is the stator and uh, where we supply power here. So active power to the stator goes in. Then there are two losses. One is called the stator copper loss, which is due to the windings inside the stator. So loss is due to the windings. And the other loss is the core loss, that is the, this core material will also cause losses like eddy current loss, etc. So this loss. So after these two losses, the power available in the gap inside, in the hollow inside, will be called the air gap power. And then this rotor is inside this, so that air gap power will be available to the uh, rotor. Uh, but in this, now there will be a copper loss of the rotor as well, because there are windings here. And from here, then what we get after the copper loss will be the mechanical power. Mechanical power will also go through some kind of a windage and friction loss, which is in the air present inside, will create some loss in the movement and there could be some friction. And after that, uh, there may be some uh, miscellaneous losses. And finally, the power that is available at the shaft will be the shaft power or output power. Now we'll relate this with the uh, power flow diagram. So input power or the total average power is given by under root 3 V T or V terminal uh, I line cos theta. So this is the power that we are supplying. Then we have to take care of two losses, so the stator copper loss and the core iron loss. And after this, whatever is available is the air gap power, which is available inside this uh, stator. The air gap power is applied to the rotor. It will undergo through the copper losses in the rotor and whatever power is now available at the output of the rotor and that will be called the power converted so the electrical power is converted into mechanical power available at this point it will further undergo through two losses that we mentioned that is the windage and friction loss uh, so windage and friction loss and it may also go through a stray power loss or the miscellaneous loss. And then the converted power will, after these losses, will become the output power available at the shaft. Okay, so with this background, we'll uh, try to understand example 7.2 solved in the book. These are the parameters given. That is the uh, terminal voltage 480 volt frequency motor power current power factor then the copper loss stator copper loss then we have rotor copper loss given then the friction and wind is loss then the core loss and the stray losses are negligible what we have to find out is the, these four parameters the air gap power power converted, output power, and the efficiency of the motor. So the first one is the air gap power, that is this power here. Uh, from the diagram we can see that this will be the input power minus these two losses. This loss and this loss. So let's write the formula, the air gap power will be P air gap is P in minus P stator copper minus P core. Now P in from this, uh, we can put in the values under root 3, Vt is given here, 480 volt. This is what is given in the question. So 480 volt, 
60 एम्पेयर एंड पावर फैक्टर 0.85 पॉइंट एट फाइव कॉस थीटा इज पावर फैक्टर जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव देन पी स्टेटर कॉपर इज गिवन टू किलो वॉट एंड पी कोर इज गिवन एटीन हंड्रेड वॉट और वन पॉइंट एट किलो वॉट सो सॉल्विंग वी फाइंड पी एयर गैप इज थर्टी एट पॉइंट सिक्स किलो वॉट Now remember, this is the input power that we'll be using to calculate the efficiency, 42.4. Okay, the next part is the power converted. So we have calculated this one. To find the power converted, we have to only subtract the rotor copper loss. So P A G minus P rotor copper loss. P A G, 38.6 rotor copper loss is 700 watt or 0.7 kilowatt. So this is our P converted, and then is the power output. So we have found P converted. We have to subtract these two losses. Fortunately, stray loss is negligible, so we have to only convert the friction and windage loss, 1800 uh, watt. So P converted minus P friction winded minus uh, uh, wind minus P miscellaneous. 37.9 we found p converted this is 600 watt and miscellaneous is zero so 37.3 kilowatt and finally the efficiency of the motor so output divided by input 100% this is the output 37.3 and we calculated input to be 42.4 so the efficiency of the motor is 88% so i hope this gives you understanding how you can easily solve this problem by following these steps thank you